hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm showing how to convert ost file to pst format so the software that i'm going to introduce um, is stellar converter for ost and it can convert large ost to uh, pst and there is no file size limitations and even you can convert encrypted ost into pst file uh, let's see how we can download and install the software i'm putting the link in the description uh, so that you can download the software directly and click on the free download once you visited the website and after you download the file just click on the install option installation is pretty simple you just need to click on uh, ok next next and finish accept the agreement next 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 you can even check this option next and install it So after you install the software, you can just check this option so that it will launch the OST converter. So the software is automatically uh, finding the location where you have the uh, OST file which you can convert to PST. So it will check the default location and even you can uh, choose a different location. For example, if uh, the OST file is in a different location, you can just choose the OST file from the file manager. But in our case, it's already in the default location, so we're going to use we're going to convert this uh, OST file to PST. Just need to click on convert. So it's uh, started converting the file. It will take some time. Let me pause the video until it finish. You can see the number of emails is being increased as it's keep converting. And you can see the emails uh, count is increasing, keep on increasing in box and all other items. And it's uh, showing me a message that conversion of selected OST file has been completed. It's very fast. Um, so we have all the emails from the OST and we need to save it as the uh, PST file. All right, we can save it converter file. Before that, we need to activate the license. So click on the activation and click on activate. Here you need to paste your activation key which you purchased from the, um, the same link you can buy. Uh, let's, I already copied my license key and I'm gonna activate. So its activation is complete click on OK and here you have um, uh, option to save the converter file so click on save converted file and you can convert it in different format even PDF and HTML but uh, I'm gonna change it to the PST you can also check this option if you don't want to convert the deleted items but I'll keep this option and uh, the destination path for uh, Outlook PST file, it's keeping as the same location. But for if you want to uh, save it in different location or in a different drive, you can save it here. Uh, I just want to put it somewhere in uh, documents so that I can easily find out. But you can, it's, it's okay to keep in the same location where you have the OST file so that you can easily add it to the uh, Outlook. So I'm going to keep it here in documents for the tutorial purpose only. Click on OK and OK. So it started saving the mails. It's very fast. So let's go to the Outlook. and let us add the PST file click on the file option account settings and then account settings again data files add click on outlook data file PST click on OK and here we have the converted one click on OK close so here you're gonna find all the emails which you have converted from 
Outlook OST to the PST files. You can find other emails like send email and important if there is any folders inside also you can find it out or the emails has been uh, converted and you can easily add it to the Outlook. Alright, I hope this video was helpful to you. You definitely can try it out. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon for notification. Take care. Goodbye.